You know, we joke around about it all the time, uh, but both Lisa and I have put on a few pounds since we started this show almost six years ago. Now, Lisa's lost it, but that's okay, because I found hers too. <laughs> the problem is we eat a lot on the show and the food's always good. It always is, Jimmy. But you know, a restaurant is about more than just the taste of the food. It's the atmosphere, the service. It's about the overall experience. And you can find the best of all of that at Blackwall Hitch in Rehoboth Beach. Eating at Blackwall Hitch is described as a dining experience blending the area's finest tastes and talents. And that experience begins the moment you walk through the door. Here we are in the kitchen at Blackwall Hitch with executive chef Chip Miller. And we're making a signature dish here. Yes, today we're making the soft shell crab entree. Oh, one of our, one of our signature salmon items. So we do it every year. Okay, well, yeah. let's get started. What do we do? Great. Well, first, you, we have our soft shell crabs. Um, which are already cleaned. You have to take. You actually have to take the gills, uh -huh. um, and it's a little evil. We'll cut the head off, mm. just to keep them clean, um, yeah. just to keep the bad parts out of there. Um, so then we dust ours in buttermilk and Old Bay flour, Ooh. Um, and then we're just going to have two sauté pans ready to go. One is for our side dish, which is the garlic bok choy. Um, so we're, we've got our pans a little hot. We're just going to put a little cooking oil in the pan, just a little. Just a little bit. A lot of people use too much oil. Yeah. But and then it actually fries them. We actually pan roast ours, which is a little bit different. Okay. A lot of different places will fry them directly in the fryer. Uh, this this just helps bring out the flavor of the crab itself a little gotcha. more. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So we've got them in the uh, old bay flour. Yep. So we've got them in our old bay flour. We're going to put the top of the shell down first, just because that's our presentation side. Little trick gotcha. of the trade. We're going to get those going, turn up the heat just a little bit. And we just want to get a nice caramelization on it, just a light brown color. And then we'll flip them over and throw them in the oven. How would you describe the fare here at Blackwell Hitch? Uh, definitely coastal and seafood oriented. Mm -hmm. um, as you saw earlier, we do have a lot of other entrees, so we're not just seafood. We have some uh, great steaks and stuff mm -hmm. like that too. So oh, okay. it's good. But yeah, we do a seasonal, seasonal, seasonal menu. Um, so we're actually working on our fall winter menu now. I'm going ah. back to Annapolis at the original location for menu tastings next week. Should be looking pretty good. We just got a nice, just basically getting them started in the pan. I might add just a little bit more oil. And then we're going to throw them in our convection oven, which is set at 350 degrees okay. for about eight minutes. About eight minutes, yeah. okay. Now, while that's in there, you're going to work on the side dish? Yeah, I'll work on the uh, garlic bok choy. So once again, we're just going to use a little bit of oil. Just cook the pan nice and even. Put the bok choy in. Just a little bit of salt and pepper. Tell me about some of the other dishes that you that we're going to see. Uh, some of the other dishes will be a tomato toast, mm -hmm. um, which is very popular. It's a great vegetarian option, um, nice and fresh, just kind of celebrates the summer. Like I said, we have a very seasonal menu. Um, and to me, nothing's better than fresh tomatoes, just a little bit of olive oil, um, salt and pepper. Um, but we also serve that on a piece of toast with a pesto, basil pesto, um, some fresh arugula, pea shoots, and radishes whole lot of summer ingredients in that one. I um, also prepared the cowboy steak, which is our bone-in ribeye, um, and that's served with our butter with mashed potatoes and seasonal veggies. And the flaming crab dip, that's something um, that I came up with when I was out in Old Town Alexandria for this past menu. Um, so we wanted to change our crab dip presentation, and I found those really cool crab dishes. Um, and I thought, what would be better than just to set it on fire at the table, just make it real interesting. You know, we want, we want to wow our guests any opportunity that we can. Yeah. All right, now we're going to put this on the plate. That's important. Yes, that's the best part is the presentation. Okay. Uh, besides the flavor. Um, so we use a little bit of our lemon butter. It's pretty much a beurre blanc sauce, which is you know, basically butter and white wine. A little lemon juice. Just going to ladle that right onto the plate. We have a beautiful carrot mango slaw with a little bit of mango juice. Just nice and fresh, something similar to coleslaw, but a little bit different flavors in there. So we'll just set that down right there. All 
Not for the soft shell. We got our soft shell crabs, which I love. Nothing says summer more than some soft shell oh, crabs. Oh, yeah. Though. All right, Chip, we're missing one thing. What's that? A fork. I got you covered. Okay. Oh, there we go. All right, enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> I break into this. Mm. That was good. That's good. good. Great. That's why we do what we do. And they do it well. But don't take my word for it. You need to head to Blackwall Hitch to see and taste for yourself. A Blackwall Hitch in Rehoboth Beach is one of three locations. Uh, you heard him mention they have a location in Alexandria, Virginia. They have another one in Annapolis. And you know all that food they had on the table there? Yeah. They were like, well, we got to do something with it. So we ate it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Great day. Yeah, it was. Suddenly I'm hungry.